हेलो दिस इज मिस्टर अविनाश अंगड़ी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द आई एस कोड मेथड फॉर बेरिंग कैपेसिटी इक्वेशन लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व द बेरिंग कैपेसिटी प्रॉब्लम बाय यूजिंग आई एस कोड मेथड जनरल बेरिंग कैपेसिटी इक्वेशन आई एस कोड मेयर ऑफ विल गिवन द इन दिस दिस इज इक्वेशन क्यू यू इज इक्वल टू सी एन सी एस सी डी सी आई सी प्लस क्यू एन क्यू माइनस वन एस क्यू डी क्यू आई क्यू प्लस पॉइंट फाइव गामा बी एन गामा एस गामा डी गामा आई गामा दिस इज जनरल बेरिंग कैपेसिटी इक्वेशन ऑफ आई एस कोड पेर दिस सी इज कोहेजन ऑफ सॉल एंड दिस एन सी एन क्यू एंड एन गामा आर बेरिंग कैपेसिटी फैक्टर एंड दिस एस सी एस क्यू एस गामा आर शेफ फैक्टर एंड डी सी डी क्यू एंड डी गामा आर डेप फैक्टर एंड आई सी आई क्यू आई गामा इंक्लिनेशन फैक्टर दिस इज जनरल बेरिंग कैपेसिटी इक्वेशन आई एस कोड ओके फॉर एंड ही इज ऑल्सो गिवन सम डिफरेंट शेप ऑफ बेस और डिफरेंट फुटिंग फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज फॉर शेप फैक्टर इफ इन केस कंटिन्यूस स्ट्रिप फुटिंग एस सी एस क्यू एस गामा इज इक्वल टू वन इन केस स्क्वेर फुटिंग यूर एस एस सी इज वन पॉइंट थ्री एंड एस क्यू इज वन पॉइंट टू एंड एस गामा पॉइंट एट इन केस रेक्टेंगुलर फुटिंग यूर शेप फैक्टर्स आर एस एस सी इज वन प्लस पॉइंट टू बी बाय एल एंड दिस बी इज विथ ऑफ द फुटिंग एंड एल इज लेंथ ऑफ द फुटिंग and sq is also 1 plus 0.2 b by l here ssc is equal to sq and s gamma 1 minus 0.4 into b by l or in case circular footing your ssc is 1.3 and sq is 1.2 and s gamma is 0.6 okay we will solve one problem by using this equation see this is your problem a rectangular footing a size of 1.8 by 3 meter has to transmit the load of a column at a depth of 1.5 meter and calculate the safe load which the footing can carry at a factor of safety of 3 against the shear failure okay by using is code method and the the soil has following properties porosity 40% and specific gravity 2.67 and water content 15% and cohesion 18 kN per meter square and angle of internal friction phi 32.5 degree and bearing capacity factors are nc is equal to 38.13 and nq is 25.5 and gamma 35.21 this is your problem by in this problem you need to calculate the safe load by using is code method or is code equation okay first you note down the given data the porosity is 40% and specific gravity is 2.67 and water content 15% and cohesion is 18 kN per meter square and angle of internal friction 32.5 degree and these are the bearing capacity factors nc nq n gamma okay your first step you need to find out the qu ultimate bearing capacity by using this equation okay before you need calculating 
ultimate bearing capacity you need to calculate the unit weight of soil and unit weight of soil and dry density okay by using this data by using this data okay i need to calculate first unit weight of soil that is your gamma okay what is your formula gamma is equal to gamma d into 1 plus water content okay but your gamma d is unknown here okay again you need to calculate here gamma d your gamma d is g into gamma w divided by 1 plus e but before you are calculating the dry density your wide ratio is unknown okay and how to calculate that wide ratio then wide ratio is porosity divided by 1 minus porosity first you calculate the wide ratio it will get the 0.667 and this value you substitute here g gamma w divided by 1 plus e and g is specific gravity 2.67 and gamma w unit weight of water that is 9.81 divided by 1 plus 0.667 you already find out here your gamma d is 15.17 kilonewton per meter cube and this gamma d you substitute here and gamma d is 15.17 into plus 1 plus water content water content is 15 percent you convert it into fraction 0.15 it will get the your unit weight of soil 18.07 kilonewton per meter square now your first step you need to find out the ultimate bearing capacity and also you need to calculate this shape factor and depth factor and inclination factor and how to calculate those shape factor and depth factor and inclination factor by using this formula and depth factor dc is equal to 1 plus 0.2 into df by b into root of n pi and this df is depth of the foundation divided by width of the foundation and how to calculate this n phi and this n phi is equal to tan square 45 plus pi by 2 and this dq is equal to d gamma okay 1 plus 0.1 into df by b into root of n pi and how to calculate this shape factor sc is equal to sq okay 1 plus 0.2 b by l your b is width of the foundation and l is length of the footing and s gamma 1 minus 0.4 b by l and how to calculate this ic iq and i gamma your ic is equal to iq 1 minus alpha divided by 90 whole square and this alpha is inclination inclination of the footing and i gamma is equal to 1 minus alpha by pi and this pi is angle of internal friction then you substitute here will get the answer for this depth factor and shape factor and this problem your inclination factors ic is equal to iq is equal to i gamma is equal to 1 so these are the answers for depth factor your dc is 1.304 and dq is equal to d gamma is equal to your 1.15 and shape factors sc is equal to sq 1 plus 0.2 into your b is 1.8 divided by your l is 3 meter you substitute will get the 1.12 same your s gamma is also 1 minus 0.4 into b by l and your s gamma you just substitute this b and l it will get the 0.76 I already explained 
in this problem inclination factors i c is equal to i q is equal to i gamma is equal to 1. Now, you substitute these values in this equation. C q u is equal to c, c is cohesion of soil that is your 18, it is already mentioned here c is your 18 and n c 38.13 into s c 1.12, c your s c is 1.12 into d c, you already calculated d c dc is equal to 1.1 sorry 1.304 into and this ic is equal to 1 plus q q means gamma into df df is depth of the foundation gamma is unit weight of the soil that is your 18 you already find out 18 18 into 1.5 into nq 25.85 minus 1 into 1.12 you know already sc is equal to sq so you substitute sc value only into 1.152 dq value into 1 plus this last term 0 0.5 into gamma 18.07 into 1.8 8 width of the foundation into this n gamma into s gamma d gamma into 1 and you substitute calculate it will get q u is equal to 1815.89 kilo newton per meter square ok and your second step q s is equal to q u divided by factor of safety plus q and this q is gamma into d you substitute this q u is 1 1815.89 divided by factor of safety is 3 plus gamma into d you calculate it will get the answer 632.04 kilo newton per meter square and your last step you need to calculate safe load and how to calculate this safe load q s into b into L will get the safe load of this rectangular footing 3415 kilo newton and these are the references thank you